And today marks a special milestone for the downtown San Diego Lions Club. After the break, we're going to have a conversation with the group's president about celebrating 100 years. Good morning, San Diego. Morning, San Diego. The downtown San Diego Lions Club has grown into the largest Lions Club in the U.S. while serving the San Diego community. And today marks 100 years of service to the region. Joining us now to discuss this momentous achievement is Edvin Liku, president of this downtown San Diego Lions Club. Good morning, Edvin. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning, Lauren. It's a pleasure to be here with you this morning. Well, I know that the Lions Club is committed to improving the lives of individuals uh, one step at a time. Can you tell us a little bit more about the history of the Lions Club here in San Diego? Absolutely. Um, Lions Club has been, as of April 8, 1922, um, we've been around for 100 years. And um, it started uh, again a little bit before April when uh, Phineas Packard and uh, a group of influential businessmen in San Diego um, it, it it need, uh, found the need of a service group, a service organization like uh, Lions Club uh, to serve the community at large. So that's how the Lions Club the club started um, back April 8, 1922. How many members are currently in the Lions Club here? Um, we, as a matter of fact, uh, have a, a little bit over 120 members. And um, the downtown San Diego Lions Club is the largest Lions Club in the United States. We are a member of uh, Lions Club International with about 55 million members around the world and is the biggest uh, service uh, club in the world. And San Diego, like in our backyard, is the largest one in the United States. That's fantastic. Kudos to you. How can people join the Lions Club? How do you get involved? What's the commitment for people who want to take part? Um, a lot, and we love to have people come and join our club. It's not just um, hanging out. It's a club that we provide service to the community, to underserved community through um, uh, grants, through um, uh, camps that we provide for the kids, and through um, many other programs that we serve our large community. Um, you can contact us at any time through um, our website. Um, typically, traditionally, the Lions Club, we need to have a sponsor uh, from the club to get in. Uh, we have to pay a small fee to be a member, uh, but just give us a call. And we love to have um, anybody that has the heart and the passion to serve our community. Well, I know that the Lions Club High School Baseball Tournament is a big deal. It started in 1951, and I know it's taking place next week. Tell us a little bit about that and how, if people want to watch or get involved, how this works. Yeah, that's a very exciting. It's, it's uh, on the way. Um, the tournament is, is the largest one in the United States for the high school baseball uh, teams. And it's about 115 to 130 teams from all over the uh, United States, including uh, Canada. And it's right here in our backyard. Uh, Judge Pete Gallagher uh, leads that um, uh, the program and has done a fantastic job. And right now the teams are gearing up and ready to play. They are all over the parks in the city, uh, different high schools and different colleges. Um, I'm not sure if, uh, if you can watch them on TV, but um, if you go to our website, uh, it should be a schedule there for people to go and support either your local team or uh, teams that you like. Um, but yeah, that's been a, an amazing program for us. Um, again, between 115 and 130 teams participating in San Diego. It's the largest one since 1951. Well, Edvin, thank you for coming on. We just wanted to say congratulations on this huge milestone and thank you for all the positive work you're doing in the community. We certainly hope to stay in touch and follow along and just give people information. SanDiegoLionsClub.org is the website to go to to learn more. Edvin, have a great day. Thank you so much for taking some time with us. Thank you so much, and I appreciate you having me on tonight. Absolutely. Or this morning. <laughs> Take care.